In this segment, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about PRP or platelet-rich plasma. Uh, PRP has been around since the 1990s uh, in the world of sports medicine and then before that in the world of cardiology and oral surgery. Uh, PRP, like the name supplies, or platelet-rich plasma, involves drawing blood from a patient, uh, putting it in a centrifuge and spinning it down. Uh, as you probably know, the way a centrifuge works is as you spin uh, any object faster and faster, the heavier elements are going to go to the bottom. So at the top of the centrifuge, or the tube in the centrifuge, you're going to get the lighter elements, which are the plasma or the fluid component of the blood, uh, and the platelets, which are, as you might know, the things that look like on a microscope, those little scraps that in biology we all learned were responsible for forming a clot. So if you cut yourself and you got a scab on your skin, that was the platelets coming together and stopping the bleeding. But what you probably also knew is that if you peel away that scab in a week or two, uh, your cut's gone, basically. You have perfectly good skin underneath there. Platelets are responsible for that as well. So they figured out a while ago, um, the cardiologist world did, that if you hyper-concentrate the platelets and you put them over a wound, in this case they did it over uh, people who'd had a, a uh, they call it a, a thoracotomy or an open chest wound from like doing bypass surgery, a lot of those patients heal better. Well, the oral surgeons caught on to that and realized that there are some conditions they do where they don't get good healing. They would put some of those platelet-rich plasma in the mouth and they would get great results with putting in a tooth or fixing a dry socket. Well, eventually it worked its way into the sports medicine world and they realized, well, this is, this is gold for us because what about that quarterback who's got a gunky rotator cuff? He's one of our best players, but he can't throw the ball 70 yards anymore because on MRI, he's got a tear. And like we've talked about in other segments, it's a tendon tear and tendons don't heal very well. And surgery would mean the end of his career in some cases. So it worked very well, but it was relatively unknown for the most part until roughly 2009 and there was a big headline then that kind of caught most people's attention and that happened in the Super Bowl that year. Uh, that was the year the Pittsburgh Steelers were playing the Arizona Cardinals and the Steelers star receiver Heinz Ward was diagnosed with a strain of the medial collateral ligament of his knee. It's that ligament on the inside of your knee and it heals typically but they told him he'd probably be out three to four weeks. Well the game was two weeks away. So as you might expect uh, Mr. Ward told his team and his doctors, I don't care what you have to do, you get me ready for that game. So they had a doctor do PRP along that ligament and with by the time the game came around, he was cleared for practice squad and by the time the game, at the, at the time of the actual game, he was cleared for full contact. Uh, he had no issues and he was the MVP of the game. So it brought it to his attention, uh, brought uh, the PRP to the attention of most of the world and when you look subsequently, when people did a little digging, they realized that other players like his teammate Troy Polamalu said that there was one reason he was able to play for so long, because he was plagued with Achilles tendon injuries. If you look nowadays, PRP is done by pretty much every pro team, probably most colleges and even high schools have a doctor that does PRP. And the way it works is very simple. Uh, when the blood is drawn and spun down, like we mentioned, and you collect that plasma, the platelets in the centrifuge are concentrated to several times the normal blood concentration. Uh, our centrifuge, for example, will, con uh, will concentrate them to about seven to eight times. Those platelets have growth factors that are fantastic at helping healing damaged tissue. What you simply do at that point is you find the damaged area and either by feel or under guidance, like say by ultrasound or fluoroscopy, um, you'll re-inject them into the damaged area. Uh, if you give it time with a little bit of therapy afterwards, often what you'll get is a remarkable healing response where that ligament or tendon or that joint cartilage will start to repair itself. And this becomes very evident when someone comes to you and says, I used to have, you know, pain that was on a scale from one to 10, seven out of 10 in my knee, achy, throbbing. Now it's six weeks later or seven weeks later and my pain is 80% better. I can push off better, I can feel better, I can walk better. Um, so PRP is a relatively safe, uh, very straightforward way to do regenerative medicine. Uh, I've had it done myself on multiple joints. I can speak for it. Um, it's, quite, it's quite successful and has a lot of applications.